Dan Perkins, Jasper County Cover Crop Guy. It's August 28th. I am in a popcorn field. And the question here today is, is there enough light coming through the canopy to seed a cover crop? Typically, we like to wait till the first week in September to aerial seed. But in this situation, popcorn, which is not as near as tall and not as near as um, kind of a lot of leaf, uh, you don't have near as much shading. And as you can see, we're aiming for about, you know, greater than 50% light transmission. And if that cover crop germinated today, it would survive in these conditions. So you, with the sun out like it is now, you can actually see where the light's getting through. We're not quite at that stage. Um, and a general rule of thumb with field corn is wait until the stalks dried up to the ear. Well, I really think you need to get out into the field and assess based on your planting date, your hybrid, you know, this is popcorn, um, that you may be able to actually go earlier than that. And with all this hot weather and how dry it is, by next week, this popcorn is going to be quite a bit more dry. Um, and if so, this field is going to be aerial seeded this week, August 28th, or early, right after Labor Day. And I think the grower's right to make the decision to do that, even though he may not be fully dried up to the ear. In this popcorn situation, this particular field, and this, this field, uh, I think we're good to go for aerial seeding in this type of canopy structure. Again, Dan Perkins, Jasper County Cover Crop Guy, making cover crop successful and building our soil health and our farm systems so that we're more productive and more environmentally responsible.